Hi there, my name's James, and if you got the time, I got the games. Now if you look up in the left corner, you can see the wrath meter's about halfway full. We can go ahead and do uh, another one of the loyalty missions if we wanted. But what I'd like to do is we haven't really unlocked a whole lot of the seven deadly weapons yet. We've only unlocked one. So I want to spend this video doing that. So we're going to go over here. Right here is the first of the three Tacos Malos. We find all three of them and we'll unlock another weapon. And you can see that is right here on the map. Welcome to Tacos Malos. Can I take your order? Dane? Is that you? Yes, now keep your voice down before someone hears you. What the fuck are you doing in there? You think anyone buys fast food in hell? It's a front. I've been stashing resources at the branches all over hell. Swing by all three and you'll have enough components to build a weapon. Can I still get a taco? You don't want the fucking taco, now get out of here. Doing these will unlock the Last Supper, which is the gluttony weapon. Yeah! But right next to it... You is the first of five marshalling grounds. This will unlock another when we do all these. And sometimes you can get these without too much trouble. Yeah, not this time. Gonna pull out the Titan to try to distract everybody. Oh, they're over to the left. Hold on, let's go for it. There we go. Okay, this first one, there's only two. Uh, the first one is up. up. Alright, and our Titan, you can see, is clear on the other side of the room. Alright, cool. Wherever you do these, you've got to fight one of the Archdukes. And these don't show up in the subtitles. This one obviously was named Leviathan, but some of them, whoa, <laughs> some of them, I don't understand what their names are because it's not in the subtitles. I don't understand what they're saying. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I was going to say that for the most part, these guys really aren't that hard to fight, even if you haven't unlocked any of your seven deadly weapons. Every single one of you back in a box. But I'm hoping to, before the video's over, unlock at least four of these. And that all depends on Professor Ginky, to tell you the truth. There's... A weapon to unlock that you're supposed to kill God, ten Archdukes to do it, but it doesn't always go that way. Hold on. Oh, we'll get this spire. This We're going to take out as many Spires as we can on the way, too. Uh, sometimes you don't have to fight ten Archdukes. Sometimes when your notoriety completely fills all the way up, Professor Ginky just pops up out of nowhere. You kill Ginky, you get the weapon. And that may happen, it may not happen, I don't know. But right over here is the first glyph that we're going to grab. And it's right here on the map. Blackbeard kind of sucks at hiding these things. And it'll go into a cutscene because we haven't grabbed any of these yet. I got word from Blackbeard that every island has a treasure chest hidden on it. What's in the chest? I don't know. I'm not a fucking pirate. What I do know is that if you want to get that thing open, you have to find three corresponding glyphs. Look on the bright side. Nothing's trying to kill you. Yep, but that's pretty much what I want to do for this video. We're going to take out a lot of spires, too. We're going to hit all three Tacos Malos. We're going to get all the glyphs and open all the Blackbeard chests. Yeah! And we're going to do all the marshalling grounds, each of which should give us a new weapon. Now, right over here on the Old Tour building. This is our next glyph. You can see it's right behind the entrance, but it's up on top of the building. Another clue. Now, this giant statue of Satan right here. We're going to have to come back to this in a minute. Next one, right there. And that's going to be right here on the map, down to the bottom left of the forge. And that's the last one. Time to open that chest. 
Now, before we go back to the giant statue, there's another spire over here. I want to crush as many of these spires as we can. Man! Did that hit us or not? Keep it coming. And get in there. Before reinforcements show up, yeah, I can see one on the map coming right around the corner. There he is. Get out of here. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna go back to the statue now. We've gotta get up pretty high, but this is kinda tricky. You gotta get inside his mouth. That's where the chest is. Slow down. And, oh, did we make it? Yeah, we did. We're inside. This better be good. Very cool. So, we're gonna go over to the next portion of the map. This is where we rescued William Shakespeare. Or at least where we impressed him anyway first glyph is right here. It's gonna be right here on the map. Go ahead and grab that and then right on the other side of this row of buildings it's gonna be another spire that we're gonna want to get rid of. And again I think I said it in the last video where the stomp works really good to get your enemies away from the spires and if it doesn't work, your aura will work really good too. Now straight ahead. Yeah, you can okay, you can see it right there. Next fire to lose it. Get the fuck out of here. Alright, awesome. And it's right next to there's like a tunnel that goes through this arcade. And the glyph is right there. And that's right there on the map. Another clue. Now when you come out of here, this street, right behind that building is the second of the three Tacos Malos. It's gonna be right here. Dane, you there? Okay, all good. So we're going to go after our next spire. These are not hard to find because they shoot at you when you get close to them. You think I'm scared of you? I'm wondering how many of these that we can actually take out as we're circling the map because we only did three in the last video and there's 20. Yeah, you can see there's 26 of them. But the next glyph is on top of this Colosseum. And that'll be right here. Gotta get to that chest now that I've found all the glyphs. If you saw on the map, there's a spire right next to it. And, oh, no, why didn't we get her? Alright, let's hit her in the face with a frog. Nice. Oh, that didn't kill her. I'm sick of this. Well, yeah, I got her that time. Okay, I'm not going to show you where the chests are on the map, because when you collect all three glyphs, the chest pops up on the map anyway. So you won't have any problem finding these. Well, what do we have here? Right, that's two of them. We've done everything in this God, area this except good. for one. That'll be the next marshalling ground which is right here. Hey, you gonna show okay, yeah, okay, one. this one has three stones that we gotta convert. Keep talking, bitch. And we'll try this approach again. Sometimes it doesn't work. They start shooting at you from behind and you have to fight now. Nope. Go ahead and pull up our Titan again. Get out of here. Come on, give me like five seconds here. Awesome. Right, next one. Okay, we'll do this one right in front of us first. Alright, other than that guy that just popped up, looks like everybody else is on the other side of the room messing with the Titan. Very cool. Nothing to that. And then right up here. Yeah, they're all over this area. 
Come on, come on, come on. Let's do this. Oh, awesome. I didn't think we were going to get that one. Okay, now I believe what he said his name was Goliath. I, I I don't know, some of these are really hard to understand and they're not in the subtitles. Whoa! Keep blasting him. Get him, get him, get him, get him! Okay, very nice, very nice. And that should be two of these, two of the five. I like how all of the seven, seven deadly weapons are fill up each different position on your weapon wheel. One's a melee weapon, one's an RPG, one's an SMG. And I think that's really cool how they came up with that. And hopefully by the time that we get to Satan we can have them all. And upgrade them as much as possible. So right over in this area of the map, this is where we rescued Vlad from his own personal hell. And the spire right here, get rid of it. Now the next glyph that we're going to get it is almost right underneath us. There's a tunnel that goes underneath this kind of shanty town over here. Yeah, see there's a tunnel that goes back here, and it's right on the wall. There's a series of these tunnels under here, and this one's a little hard to find if you're looking for it, but it's right there on the map. This treasure that'd be worth so we'll it. Go ahead and grab it and get out of here. Next to this activity. There's kind of a hole in the ceiling that we're just gonna get out this way. Woo! Hit next to this building that fell over. We're gonna hit this spire. Right. How many was this again? I lost count. Like nine or ten, I think. Eleven. Well, okay. That's how much I was paying attention. Okay, and back towards the castle. Yeah. Vlad's castle over there. But there is another spire on the way that we're going to want to get rid of. And lose it. The ones that are up here on these platforms, these are actually uh, really easy to do. Nobody ever attacks you after you do the stomp. Okay, so on Vlad's castle, we want to get around to the other side. And slow it down a little bit. And the next glyph is up there. Right, very cool. Left side of the castle. Another clue. Let's see what these things can do. Now, right in front of us is the next marshalling ground. And we're going to hit that in just a minute. But the last glyph for this area is right next to it. On the map, it's right here. Should be right below us to the left, I believe. Yeah, right there. To be right here on the map. Too easy. Now I just need to remember where that chest is in. Okay, very cool. It's at this marshalling ground. And there's only two control panels in that one. This should work out okay. Got a lot of guys over here. I will fucking end you. Okay, cut us a break, cut us a break. Yeah, oh, yeah, no good. We almost had it. Fire and blood. One more time, get in there. Very cool, the next one is down, it says. Yeah, right there. Oh, there's nobody over here. 
like everybody is on the other side of the room. But we got this one. Your guess is as good as mine as to what that this one's name is. Sounded like Marianne to me. Oh shit! Marianne's pissed! <laughs> yeah, hold still, gotcha. We only have one of our deadly de se seven deadly weapons right now, but uh, we got it in the first video. But it's not upgraded at all. We haven't really made any money. Right, hit this fire. Hit it. And where you grab the sloth here is actually in this same area that we're at. Okay, this part's kind of a trip, and I'm glad that we have all five flaps right here, because we're going to need it. You have to get up really high to get this one. Over by the prison, where they had Vlad in the beginning. It's way up at the top. Right there, yeah. Very cool. Please be guys. Please be guys. Alright, oh, oh good. Now right over to the left over there, that platform, that's where we found the sloth chair, but to the right, over on that, is another spire that we're gonna lose. <laughs> Very cool. You can see there was kind of this little bridge behind us. Right here, on the other side of the bridge. is our third and final Tacos Malos. It's right next to this pledge rush. Real easy to find on the map. Be right on top of the pledge rush on the map. Very cool. Welcome to Tacos Malos. Would you like our special today? Is that the gun? Jesus Christ, you are terrible at being discreet. Now what made you think I'd be good at it? That's a good point. Enjoy the weapon. Yeah, and there we go. The weapon for gluttony, the last supper. This I don't really use this weapon very much. The old tour building. There's someone here you need to meet. Oh, okay. And it looks like we filled up the next third of the meter. Well, at least they let us get the gluttony gun before we did. Jezebel set out to find the one man that could save her from her impending nuptials. Fortunately for her, Johnny's trail of destruction wasn't too hard to follow. One night with any lover, but you have to punch a panda. Do you do it? Ooh, good question. Um, Mr. Gap? <laughs> yeah, I guess that's what they talk about on the ship. Well, I'm a... We're not doing that again. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, thank God. I'm Jezebel. Good to know. What are you doing? Threatening you. You're not marrying the president. I don't want to marry the president. Wow, that was easier than I thought. My dad's making me do it. What now? Now I'm holding you hostage. You don't need to do this. Yeah, that's what hostages always say. No, like, you really don't need to do this. I'm here to help you. Yeah, but I already have the gun drawn, so, uh... Are you kidding me? Maybe. I'm not sure yet. I'm kind of winging it. Can you wing it without the gun? Yeah, it's a comfort thing. Not for me. What do you want? For you to put the gun down. Get used to disappointment. You sound like my father. What? He's always telling me that life is about misery, not happiness. That dreams only exist to make people forget about their own mediocrity. Man, that's depressing. Being the devil's daughter sucks. Yeah, who would have thought that Satan was a bad I'm guy? Punch my dad in the face. We're gonna get along just fine. Of course, Jezebel was speaking metaphorically. But Johnny didn't notice. <laughs> Jezebel was eager to help Johnny in any way she could, and vowed to find a way to sneak him into the palace. 
Johnny frowned at the seemingly arbitrary amount of time required for Jezebel to find a way to sneak him in. But he accepted the fact that without traditional missions, this was the best way to further the story. And of course, after that cutscene, they put you right out in front of the old tower building again. Alright, Jezebel went back home. She's gonna let us know when she can sneak you in. In the meantime, let's... Wait, someone's... Hey! Get your hands off me, you fucking troglodyte! We have your friends, mortal. And they will writhe until their screams no longer please us. Hang tight, Dane. I'm coming. Yeah, actually, no, we're not. There's Dex right there. I'm surprised Dex hasn't shown up on the map so far the whole time we've been doing this. Oh, that's only three. He's got to appear four more times. Okay, we're actually going to keep running around doing the same thing we were doing. But before we do that, look at all the money that we got for doing all those. We have plenty of money to buy the Diamond Sting, the Greed Weapon, and upgrade it pretty good. Okay, so we're not going to run out of ammo and have it do full damage. I don't want to blow all the money on this thing because we haven't upgraded the sloth chair yet either. We'll fill this up for damage. We'll upgrade the missiles. Hold on, wait. I think, okay, I think we still have enough money. Or sins. <laughs> to hold on. Upgrades weapons. Dual-wheeled SMGs. There we go. We did have just enough. All right. Awesome. Oh, hello. <laughs> like absolutely nothing. All right. We're going to... Uh, we're not going to go save Dave. We're not going to do that. We'll do that in the next video. There are two more islands for us. So, so far in the video, we've actually gotten two more of our Sedley Devon... Sedley... Damn it, why can't I say that today? Seven deadly weapons. We got the one for gluttony, and we got the one for greed. Right in front of us, an expired. Come on! Yeah! And this is up pretty high, too, so more than likely nobody's going to attack us while we're ripping out this thing's heart. Okay, and then... Straight ahead of us, right on the other side of this thing. Whoa! Right over here on that building, yeah. And get rid of this one. Oh. Okay, either that, uh, that demon just appeared or... Oh, there's two of them. Either they just spawned or the stomp didn't kill them. <laughs> yeah. It's like nothing with this thing. Alright, this exact same building, right on the other side of it, there's another fenced-in area that looks just like the one we were just in. And it's got our next glyph. And that is right there on the map. Blackbeard kind of sucks at hiding these things. Very cool. Now right to this left corner when we go out. Let's see what these things okay, there's do. There's a building right over to our left. It's not this one. It's this one up here. There's a platform with the next one. This treasure better be worth it. And the very last one is to the very bottom left of the entire map. There's like a little bridge down here. It's a sh short, small little bridge. And yeah, there it is. See, it's really small, and the last glyph is right underneath it. And yeah, let me show you real quick. It's to the very bottom left, yeah. And that's the last one. Time to open that chest. And Blackbeard's chest in this part of the map is actually, uh, this took a little while. This is a little harder to find. There's like this giant skull, I'm guessing like a demon skull. And you have to go real slow, get in between the teeth. Yeah, and there's a tunnel in here. 
uh, into the mouth of the demon. Please be kind. Please be. Yeah, and that's number four. Very nice. I'm surprised we haven't seen more of Dex. Sometimes he shows up constantly. All you have to do is one thing and he'll show up again. Well, we've only seen him once so far at all this time. Is that all you got? So clearly we're not going to get that weapon this time. Oh shit, look at all the guys on the map. Oh, we're not going to get this without a fight probably. We'll go for it anyway. Dude, they're all around us. No way. Well, there is no reason why we should have got that. Let's, <laughs> you know, why ask why? Let's just get out of here. Because the next marshaling ground is right in front of us. This one, I believe, has uh, four control stones. Yeah. This one we're going to have to work for. Yeah, there's no way we're going to do this without a fight. We've got more missiles, and this thing is fully upgraded for damage. Look how fast it kills those things. Pretty awesome. Alright, we'll give it a try. I still see a lot of guys on the map directly behind us. Nobody gave it to us. Cool. Let's see, next one. No, that's down. Straight ahead. We'll do this one first. Oh, and again, it looks like everyone left is on the other side of the room. We're going to get this one, definitely. No problem there. Then, yeah, looks like we might catch a break over here, too, because they're still on the other side of the room. Oh, wait. One of them's right behind us. He's probably either down or up. Yeah, okay, we're good. And last one should be on the ground floor. Oh, shit! <laughs> I haven't upgraded any resistance yet. I didn't want to blow the money. I want to get all these weapons and upgrade them. So everything can still hurt us. Fire, being shot, getting hit by cars. Yeah, I have no idea. Because I wish they'd give their name in the subtitles, but no clue. Okay, so now that we... Oh, shit. So now that we uh, have upgraded a couple weapons, we don't even need the Titan to fight these guys. That There's nothing to that. I could do this all night. The Diamond Sting, the Greed SMG, is awesome. I don't know if it's necessarily my favorite weapon in the game, but it's definitely up there. Okay, this should be four or five of these. We have four or five of Blackbeard's chest, and we've already grabbed two of the other weapons. God, this feels good. Yeah. Yep, very nice. And we haven't done, we haven't advanced the story at all, but we are filling up the Wrath Meter still as we speak. There's only one area left, the Barrens, where Blackbeard's ship is. Oh, wait, Spire up top! Oh, shit! Oh, come on, Johnny! Come on, get it together, man. We still got work to do. I'll fuck your world up. Awesome. Hey, where'd that guy come from? How did the stomp not kill him along with everybody else? Well, no big deal. <laughs> like it's nothing. Okay, the marshalling ground for the barons. And you can see it right in front of us. This is actually supposed to be the first one in the game you do when you accept the loyalty mission from Blackbeard. You're actually... Part of his loyalty mission is to find the three glyphs for this area, which are real easy to find. And then this marshalling ground is also part of his loyalty mission, which would explain why there's only two stones in it. Yet yeah, we saved the easiest for last this time. Yeah, don't think so. The plague of Gat. 
Oh, there's nobody over here. All right, one more Archduke. Prepare yourself, Martin. Now, face Lumbot. And it sounded like Lumbot. That can't be right because that's a pretty stupid name. Okay, oh. Yeah, 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 I don't think so. Man, look how fast his health drains. Oh, this is a great weapon, I love it. Send my regards to your boss. Now again, to uh to open the weapon that's available in the RPG slot, we're supposed to kill ten of those, but like I said, sometimes you get lucky. And when your notoriety's filled up, Professor Ginky shows up with the weapon, and it takes a long time to kill Ginky. But he that's pretty much all you have to do to get that. Okay, so the marshalling grounds are the fast travel mechanic for the game. When you beat the last one, it opens up a new portal directly in the middle of the map that takes you to this secret chamber. And this is where the weapon is. This one is for the melee slot and the weapon wheel. And it's Uriel's Edge. This is really cool too once it's upgraded. Oh, when it's not upgraded, it really doesn't help you a whole lot. But yeah, it's pretty awesome. Once it's upgraded, it's definitely overpowered. We're gonna go right back to where we came from because we still need the glyphs. Okay, Blackbeard's ship is right over there, but yeah, another spire on the way. Lose it. Pretty awesome. 19 to 26, wow. You know, we only did three of those in the last video. Okay, right on the ship, you can see that the chest and the first glyph are right next to each other. This is supposed to be the first one that you do, which is why they're so easy to find. But I'm assuming if you've played any of this game at all, you know where Blackbeard's ship is. Blackbeard kind of sucks at hiding these things. So that's the first one. If you run over to the left side, look over to the left, you can actually see the last two glyphs from where we're standing. One to the left, one to the right. These are real easy to find because they're supposed to be the first one you do. Be worth it. Too easy. Now I Very cool. Remember where that chest is in. All right, back to the chest. Hold on, don't lose it. Awesome. All right, here we go. This is the last chest. And when you open it... Well, what do we have here? There's our weapon. This goes into the shotgun place on your weapon wheel, and it's the lust gun. The boom chicka, it's called. Very cool. All right, well, we did it. This video, we have unlocked four of the seven. Shit. Yeah, we'll go ahead and take out this last fire might as well. It's the body. This will have been, we've only, we only did three spires in the last video, which means we got 17 of them in this video. Plus four of our seven deadly weapons. Pretty awesome. Oh. Alright, well, the next video we will go ahead and continue with the story. <laughs> this is great. This turned out really good. I'm going to end this right here. My name is James. And if you got the time, I got the games. Thank you guys so much for watching.